Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about one of my favorite gaming franchises and that's Dynasty Warriors. The reason why I'm talking about it now is because at the PlayStation State of Play event, they revealed a new Dynasty Warriors game, Dynasty Warriors Origins. Is this, Soldiers and officials alike. Is this the new Dynasty for Warriors? People for and it looked really good and I'm really excited about it. Oh my God, this looks good. <laughs> Origins. Oh. Dynasty Warriors is set in the Three Kingdom era of China, and it features beat 'em up combat. Uh, you know, stages that aren't huge or necessarily open world, but pretty large stages with big, massive armies, and you control a general that is either based on a historical uh, character or a created character, and you just run through the level and basically just beat everybody up, and you use all sorts of cool moves and combos. It's one of the first PlayStation 2 games I ever played, actually. Dynasty Warriors 2 was the first one I ever played in the franchise. I got it on a demo disc for PlayStation 2, and I fell in love with it. Uh, my dad did, too, actually. We played Dynasty Warriors 2 a lot together, and then Dynasty Warriors 3. And honestly, I've played just about every mainline Dynasty Warriors game. Uh, they, they've had several spinoffs, including a Dynasty Warriors Tactics game, which I, I actually think I have. I have... Dynasty Warriors Tactics 2. It's pretty, the case is pretty beat up, um, but the disc and everything is fine in here. Uh, one of my favorite games is actually one of the highest rated games in Dynasty Warriors uh, in the franchise is the Dynasty Warriors Tactics uh, spinoff. But they also had, if you're familiar, Samurai Warriors. They had Dynasty Warriors Gundam, which I loved. Warriors Orochi, I loved. This is just a franchise that really has been milked a lot it's just fun it's like a fun junk food kind of game it's like a guilty pleasure almost and i mean like really a guilty pleasure let me let me let me show you how bad this this is actually like here i pulled it up on metacritic just to see for myself and as you can see uh dynasty warriors uh, <laughs> has never really been that good um in fact that first dynasty warriors 2 game october 25th 2000 Wow, one of the highest rated games in the series sitting at a 75 and I think Dynasty Warriors 3 is the highest rated at a 78. Um, no, Dynasty Warriors Tactics, the first one, is at a 79, I believe. And that's it. These games are historically mid, but ah, guys, I just love them. Like Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn, I think I've got like five or 600 hours in that. It's a 64. Yeah. I played all the Empires games. I actually liked those the most i enjoyed the mainline entries i enjoyed empires i never really played the extreme legends games that much but loved empires for the little bit of strategy they gave you in empires you could actually like control your armies and give orders to other generals on the battlefield and you know uh have them defend you or go and take bases it was so minimal but i loved it so much and really i think that's kind of the main reason why the the metacritic scores for these games are so low dynasty warriors 4 so good i think the reason why it, it's been so poorly received over the years is because minimal effort has typically been put into these games and uh, i did not even know that a dynasty warriors 9 empires was made that's why i'm that's why i'm looking at this and the last one which was the the last mainline entry was dynasty warriors 9 which went open world and bombed and uh, again just seems to be minimal effort put into these games from numbered entry to numbered entry from like six to seven to eight to nine incremental baby step changes it's almost like madden i, I think that's the closest thing i can compare it to is like madden or fifa you know how ea is just milking sports fans with you know they'll they'll release a madden now and it's basically a copy paste of last year's madden and then sometimes they'll reintroduce a feature from like madden 11 and they'll talk about it like it's brand new dynasty warriors does all that same shit but i just love it there's something about the sim the simplicity of that beat em up style building up your musu gauge so you can unleash this you know amazing super attack in some of the dynasty warriors games you would have or maybe it was warriors orochi i don't know if dynasty warriors ever did this but you could have like a party 
but you would only control one character at a time, but you could basically switch out to another character and then, you know, fight as that character for a while. There were hidden power-ups on these levels that you could pick up, collectibles, unlocking characters. Like, I think that was one of the biggest draws of Dynasty Warriors was you'd have a roster of like 80 or 90 characters from different factions in this historical period, you know, that are based on real warriors from that period and you could learn lore on them and you could play as them. They would include, a, you know, some cut scenes that were alternate endings. And I just loved the lore and the time period that these games were based on. And I enjoyed the beat em up combat and I enjoyed the progression of unlocking new characters as I played through the games and unlocking lore on these characters. I genuinely just, just fell in love with what the game was based on and i enjoyed the the simple beat em up combat but i did always wish for more depth and i never really got it i feel like the empires games was like the closest that i got to like any real depth but i enjoyed it for what it was and when i saw dynasty warriors origins at the state of play i i got emotional because i have you know, I have almost a 25 year history with Dynasty Warriors and I've played just about every game in the franchise, even the spinoffs. And I've just always wanted to see other people get as excited about these games as I get. I feel like I'm alone on an island when a Dynasty Warriors game comes out, you know, like when Dynasty Warriors Origins showed, I was like, I was almost in tears, man. I was like, holy shit. And it looked good. The, the gameplay looked improved. The graphics looked improved. It, it, none of it looked state of the art, but it looked like this time maybe they put some effort into it, especially after how poorly nine was received. And after nine, I've just been wondering, like, what are they going to do for the next Dynasty Warriors game, man? Because you know this this franchise is really like in dire need of of a reboot or you know just just a bigger budget with more effort and it looks like we've got that to some degree to what degree i don't really know i just wanted to talk about it for a minute because i know there's other people like me that love this franchise love the spin-offs like again shout out to dynasty warriors gundam i'd love to see another one of those too um i hope that they keep the empires spin-offs and because i don't know if there's a lot of strategy in origins i don't know if you get to command troops it looks like maybe you do it looks like maybe you get large scale battles but if they kind of keep it down to like just the ground level front lines with your one soldier your created character or whatever if they decide to go that route i'm okay with it i'd love to see the empire spinoff i i, I don't want to spend too much time talking about it i just wanted to share my excitement and say that i really hope that this game was given the attention and the budget and the effort really really the effort that it deserves because these games have so much potential in them and i really think the reason why i'm so excited is because for for decades now i've seen this potential in this franchise and i don't really feel like it's ever been fully realized and i doubt it's going to be fully realized in origins but we're getting closer it looks like looks like maybe we're heading in the right direction and if this game comes out and the effort is there and they've they've they put the work in and they've expanded on it in the right ways and it's received well and it reviews well then maybe we get like a big budget dynasty warriors game that you know i've kind of always been dreaming of you know i i remember even watching the the movies i don't know if any of you have ever seen any of the three kingdom era movies i remember watching red cliff part one and part two and just being blown away seeing all of these characters that i fell in love with and i'm sure it's not totally historically accurate like i don't want to act like i believe that dynasty warriors is giving me 100 percent accurate history i don't you know i'm not going there for that but seeing movies like red cliff and movies that are based on the three kingdoms era i just i love it i love the lore i love the characters i love the stories i love reliving it when these games come out i hope this game is really good and i hope that if not with dynasty warriors origins i hope one day we do get that fully realized, fully fleshed out AAA budget Dynasty Warriors game. You know, maybe it's just a dream that I have that will never be realized, but 
I had to talk about it and share that with you. And I hope that if any of you feel the same way, you'll share, you know, your thoughts and your stories and, and your history with Dynasty Warriors and the spinoffs, Samurai Warriors and Warriors Orochi and things like that. I hope you'll share your stories in the comments. And uh, also, for what it's worth, I stream here on this channel full playthroughs of games. I'm about to start Final Fantasy 16, and I'm also uh, streaming at Twitch, you know, twitch.tv slash Rex Sterling. You can watch wherever you want. Just wanted to talk about this game franchise because I love it. And uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited to see that it might come back maybe better than ever, I hope. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing the game when it releases. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next video. Take care. Oh man, I love Dynasty Warriors so much. I just want a good Dynasty Warriors game so bad. Okay, this is a whole different vibe. Hold up.